every difference between RPG Maker MZ in comparison to RPG Maker MV. Also, hey, it's been a while. An option for using an ATV battle system is now available. It has two versions, active, where time progresses even when you're selecting your move, and wait, where the opposite happens and time freezes while selecting your action. The iconic and overly complicated animation editor has now been removed. Instead, the program now uses animation files created with the software called Effexier, a program that's not only way more powerful, but also way more complicated. Mapping has received an upgrade with the return of the explicit layer system from RPG Maker XP. There are four layer systems you can select from to specifically edit, and you can also switch back to the automatic mode that MV used. In addition, event editing has also received an upgrade, as there's now a list that tracks all the events that have been created on the current map. The system tab has been split into two. Within these you can find an advanced setting list that contains options for game resolution, window size, game font, and font choice. The choice window on the title screen can now have its position changed. Certain item categories can be hidden from the menu. There is an option to show the number of key items. And there is now an autosave feature that can be enabled. For the record, it will autosave after every battle and map change. Outside of the system tab, there is a new trait that allows for default attack skills to be overridden. So, for example, an ice sword can change the actor's default attack to be an ice slash. And the configuration for scope, for, you know, skills and items, has been expanded into a different dialogue. Show message has a name box feature now. The set movement route editor now has a preview for the route you're editing. Move picture now has smooth options. The location and get location info can now be chosen based on the player or an event's position. The button condition and conditional branch can now be configured to check whether the button is pressed, was pressed at the moment, or triggered through a repeat. The Control Variables Game Data section has a new Last Used input for receiving the Last Used skill, item, etc. And plugin commands have been expanded so that they can be selected from a list and use preset parameters created by the plugin dev. Pieces in the Character Creator can have their positions shifted slightly using these new offset arrows. The game doesn't function that much differently and the assets are about the same, you know, it's a slightly different RTP, slightly altered code. The menu is changed up and the window skin is altered a bit more than usual. There's on-screen buttons that improve the mobile and mouse experience. And on the topic of mouse experience, choice windows now react to mouse movement. And last, and I guess probably least, we have a couple minor conveniences added, such as plugins in the plugin manager now have checkboxes for easy toggling. There's an improved map organization system. You can update the RPG Maker project code based on whichever version you wish to use without too much hassle. And some terms have been changed in the edit for better descriptiveness. To end this video, here's a quick and direct comparison of a bunch of different screens from both MV and MZ. Though anything not mentioned so far you can safely assume is pretty much identical to how it was in MV. And that's about all. Thank you for putting your eyes on my video channel. Subscribe.